Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today we've got the WL Toys 144001. It's been upgraded to a brushless system. I'm gonna go over it as quick as possible and then I'll go over it more at the end of the video if you guys wanna stick around for that one. Uh, I'm gonna do a speed run, see how fast this thing goes, if it'll hold stable, you know, as far as not flipping in the air. So we'll see in regards to it and it seemed to be really quick when I kind of tested it too. So very twitchy uh, as far as power. So anyway, go over there. There's the Hobby Wing system that I use. It is a combo system, the Easy Run Max 10 and the Easy Run 3652. 5400 kV motor, capable of a 2S LiPo, which is what we got charged up in here. Stock LiPo battery. And we have the uh, high tech HS-81. Real quick on that one, the bracket that does hold in the micro servo um, had to be shaved a little bit on both sides of the uh, bracket and then it fit right in there. So no problems after that. Uh, other than that, um, radio. Had some issues binding radios with, uh, well not so much binding radios when it came to the uh, radio and receiver, but I wasn't able to get reverse. So I tried a Red Cat radio, I tried a Traxxas radio, and then I ended up using this Kyosho radio, the Synchro. So I do like this, it's very easy to make all the adjustments on, but um, yes, it was the only one I could get reverse to work on for whatever reason. Anyway, and also we do have the uh, Sky RC, I'll put a link in the description below for that. That was sent to me from from Banggood, anyhow. And also, this car was as far as the WL Toys car. Uh, as far as the the other components, which would be the uh, brushless motor, the Hobby Wing stuff, the high tech. That stuff is something I paid for. That was not sent to me for free. Uh, the car was, and so was the uh, GPS. So anyway, without further ado, let's get this thing on the road. See how fast this thing goes. Hopefully we can get an accurate number that we don't get any flips or anything like that. But anyway, let's go. All right, so just gonna do a test run without a GPS on it just to make sure, see how it's gonna handle, first of all. Okay, it did lift off once I gave it full throttle. Zero miles an hour, so I'm gonna see what the peak is. I'm gonna go with the wind, so we're at zero. went 58 miles an hour. That thing rips, dude. 58, almost 60 miles an hour. Fifty, yeah, 59 miles an hour now. We can get to 60. So again, 59 miles an hour, almost 60. I feel like it cuts off at top end. All right, guys, so this part right here is gonna be a little bit longer winded when it comes to talking about this car, but uh, let's go over it a little bit. Anyhow, as far as what it came, you know, what I got here, what came from Banggood, just to kind of get that out of the way as well. But uh, this this little uh, GPS, the Sky RC GSM-015, I'll put a link in the description below for that. That is something that uh, Banggood did send to me, and I definitely appreciate it because uh, was able to show you guys how fast it went without a big old GoPro on the back because it would have not worked. It would have just flipped over or flipped. Uh, I'll put a link in the affiliate link 
for the GPS and also the car itself, the 144001. I'll put that in there. And if I have any promo codes, I'll add that into the uh, link or the description below as well. Now, this thing will definitely go over 60. Why do I say that? Because these tires that are stock are a little bit taller. The ones that I have here, these are another thing that was sent to me from Banggood. So I'll put a link in the description below if you want to get those. This thing just gripped really well. No real drama. I did lower the, the shocks down just one, uh, just to kind of bring that front down so I don't get so much wind underneath the chassis. And at first I did run it against the wind, of course, knowing that that's, you know, that's why I didn't put a GPS on it. And of course it was enough of a factor to start to lift the car up or do a wheelie more or less. So that's why I just went the other way, went with the wind and yeah, everything was good, man. 50, 60 miles an hour is awesome. Okay, um, the Hobby Wing system. So we got that, so let's go over that. I'll put links in the description below for that one. It is a combo, so if you do, or if you are interested in it. So the Easy Run Max 10, 60 amp, and then we have our 5400 KV motor, the 3652. I like it. I like Hobby Wing stuff in the first place. Um, but it, it's just quite a bit packed in here, as you can tell. So, and I could have made it a little bit less as far as I could have shortened the wires, whatever. Here's why I did it too. Um, one is just because of the fact that I'm gonna probably use this system in another car down the road anyway. So I really don't wanna kinda start cutting all the wires up, but we can see how fast it goes. You know, a little bit of weight reduction here is not gonna make a big difference with a little bit shorter wire, but it will just keep, keep it a little bit cleaner. Now I will say this too. I tried different radios and I think I might've said it in the very beginning too. But anyway, um, this is the radio that worked. This is a Kyosho, Kyosho radio. It's a synchro and you can see it right there. Now, I don't sell these typically separate or anything like that, but it is it just worked. I had issues with the TQI, the Traxxas radio, and also my Red Cat radio. I couldn't get the car to go in reverse, and even if I got it in reverse, it would just start to go on its own. So I was like, what's the deal here? So I just ended up, you know what, I said, forget it. I know that the, as far as the Kyosho radios, everything's sitting right there. I can make all my adjustments, and it just worked. I don't know what was with it, because the Red Cat radio, anyway, uh, works with other hobby wing stuff I don't know what happened but anyway that's the one I use easy to uh, adjust everything on the fly so I just like all that analog stuff that you can just get to really quick um, yeah even that high-tech servo that's here that little micro servo the HS 81 that thing really powerful it's got a lot of torque in it um, it's perfect for this I uh, will let you know too since you can see everything is the dual rate notice it's on zero right Zero means that it's not really gonna turn much. So when you're doing speed runs, I just want that thing just to turn a little bit. So that's what I did. I turned it all the way down because even when I had it halfway, it was like, man, this thing's still turning way too much. And just to kind of let you guys know too, uh, with the dual rate, sets kind of the end points too. So that way the steering doesn't go so far. So, cause I think this one will throw too far, which is will stress that little servo out anyhow. So I, I don't turn it all the way up to 10. So you might, I just backed it off some. Anyhow, if I go and just run it slower, but this thing's a beast, man. Really happy with it. Um, things I had to do too, as far as when it came to the micro servo, is that this little bracket that comes with, you know, obviously it holds down the factory one, uh, was a little bit, the factory servo is a little bit smaller. So what I needed to do is shave down the plastic sides of each to uh, make it work. I didn't shave the servo that I have, but just the little bracket. So I just use a Dremel and just, shaved a little bit off each side Each side there, it's all good. Um, so even the receiver, it's just flipped upside down, just got a little, you know, wire tie or whatever you want to call it on there. The engine or the motor, <laughs> um, it didn't even get warm. I mean, it didn't even, it's not stressing at all. Now, as far as this electronic speed controller, yeah, it's just kind of hanging in there right now. Why, I just want to run this thing too. I did have it kind of stuck in there and it just came undone. So, uh, and you know, the wires and everything like that. Again, uh, I'm gonna probably use this in a different car, so I don't really care as far as when it comes to the wires. But the car itself, rock solid, no complaints, right? It's just, I can't believe this little car went that quick, that controllable. So, uh, it's a buggy, I kinda knew, it's like, okay, the buggies are just aer more aerodynamic, they just seem to kinda work as far as for those speeds. Some of the other cars, if you get some trucks and everything, things get underneath the truck itself, the body, and they want to flip over. They're not stable. They're not lowered to the ground. I like it. This thing is, this thing's got more. It's got more potential to go even faster. 
So I might get a little bit more. I can actually put a 3S system in this. I probably could run it with that uh, hobby wing system and uh, put another motor in here. I got a 5800 kV, which I've already thrown 3S power through it quite a few times and it's just taken it and the has no problems, it hasn't burnt, it hasn't smelt weird or anything like that. So could do that, but honestly at 60 miles an hour, I think once I'm going a little bit faster than that, I think we're gonna have issues with it wanting to take off and get airborne. So I think 60 is not bad, man. I mean, really at the end of the day, the only thing is is that the battery is gonna get drained super quick because it's pulling a lot of power. And I would say this battery is just, I think the battery is limiting me as well as far as on top end, it just can't deliver because it wasn't designed. It wasn't just a small little, it's probably only like a 10C discharge battery or something. It might be a 20 or a 15. I'm not 100% sure, but it's very low on the discharge rate. And I think it's kind of struggling to give this uh, electronic speed controller power. So I think if I replace it with a nice premium battery that's like a 50C discharge on the little 2S, I think we can get a little bit more power out of this thing too. And that electronic speed controller might be a little bit happier. So with that being said, that's it, man. This thing's beast. I love it. So if you're in the market to get one of these things and you kind of been still like not really sure, you wanted to go fast, a little tiny car, I think this is for you, man. This thing's awesome. Anyway, I'm out of here. This thing's been, it's a long video, but I appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. I know Bang is going to be having a lot of Black, uh, Black Friday stuff. We got some stuff that we already sent out as far as emails. But um, hit us up at our omgrc.com. Uh, you can always uh, leave a message, see if, you know, give us a call if you're looking for something that we have and you say, hey, can you give me a little bit better deal? I'll try to work with you during the holidays here, to try to give you a better deal. Anyway, I'm out. I appreciate you guys watching. Later.